in five, four, three, two, one, action. <laughs> hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel, Lao Sun Pat, Sports, Reflection, and News. Uh, I want to talk to y'all tonight. Uh, the game two matchup between the Golden State Warriors and the Toronto Raptors. Uh, we all are aware that the Raptors won 118-109 behind Pascal Siakam's 32 points and 8 rebounds. So, before I get into, you know, my game two breakdown and analysis of who I expect to win, I just first want to give you all just some stats, you know. I love stats. I love numbers. So, my first stat is... Teams who won game one of the NBA Finals going to win the series 75% of the time. So if you are a Toronto Raptors fan, a Golden State Warriors hater, <laughs> or a player or a coach or whatever, you know, you are excited because, you know, history is on your side. Uh, also, with the Raptors being able to beat uh, the Warriors in game one, that snapped the Warriors' NBA record streak of 12 straight games of winning game one. So what the Raptors were able to accomplish is definitely a great feat and definitely something that they should be able to build off of. Um, also, you know, another stat is Toronto has only been up 2-0 in the best of seven series once in their history, and that came last year against the Washington Wizards, uh, which occurred in the first round, and they was able to win that series 4-2 behind DeMar DeRozan and, you know, Kyle Lowry. You know, this year is a different because, because they have Kawhi Leonard, so... Who knows? Maybe they maybe they will be able, you know, to go up 2-0 again once again. But the opponent is definitely much tougher. Uh, also, Toronto is 9-0 in the playoffs all time when scoring at least 115 points. All nine of those games came at home. So, you know, they was they was able to score 118 in game one, and as we see, that converted to a win. So, if they're able to get to 115 once again. If history remains true, then the Raptors are going to be 2-0 in this series. So that's something to be excited about and something, you know, to look forward to. It's like a magic number, you know, in a way. Um, furthermore, Thursday was Marcus Gasol's first 20-point game as a member of the Raptor. He played in 45 such games so far. So what Marcus Gasol was able to do was scoring 20 points and adding seven rebounds. He really, you know, brought a spark to the a much needed spark to the Raptors, and it was a good time for him to get his first twenty point game as a member of them because they definitely needed each you know they needed all of that twenty that he was able to you know put up so uh also you know Marcus saw when he's able to score at least fifteen points, you know the Raptors are eight and two, so that's an eighty percent win percentage so if Marcus saw you know is able to do his thing and at least score fifteen. It's an eighty percent chance that you know Toronto will win tonight. So that's some that's something definitely to, you know to keep an eye on and you know just focus on. Um, you know to further elaborate, you know, <laughs> Jeron Green has recorded a triple double in three straight games. He is the third player in NBA history to do that. Wilt did it four times in nineteen sixty seven. You know against plumbers and you know electricians and everything. Joking. But uh, Russell Westbrook also did it three straight times in 2017 against the uh, Houston Rockets. So that's definitely something great that Draymond is able to accomplish, you know, so far. But, you know, as we saw last game, it didn't convert to a win. So, you know, maybe he should, you know, put up a couple more points than 10 because that, you know, that didn't get it done last time. So uh, my breakdown. Okay, um... You know, like I said in game one, Cal Larry only put up seven points, so I, I definitely expect him to score more of this game. Uh, I, de I expect Kawhi Leonard to put up more than 23 points in this game. I expect him to be more efficient than five for 14. Uh, but I don't expect Fred Van Fleet to put up 15 tonight. I think the Warriors are going to are gonna key in on him. I think they are going to key in on um, on. Danny Green, you know, I don't think Danny Green going to get 11 tonight. I don't feel like Marcus Gasol is going to reach his 20 points tonight because Steve Curry is, he is so excellent at making adjustments, you know, midway through. So I just feel like the Raptors are going to be very uh, Kawhi and Kyle Lowry centric tonight. And I feel like that is going to play right into the Warriors hand because they're forcing them to play like that. I expect them to force them to play like that tonight. 
Uh, also, I think that the Warriors bench is going to step up. I think Livingston will play better. I think Quinn Cook will hit a couple more shots. I feel like Iguodala will play better. And I just feel like, you know, Curry is going to uh, pitch in with his 30. And I feel like Clay is... So I think Clay is going to reach 30 tonight. Uh, yeah, I do. I do. Because Clay, man, Clay, like, Clay, like, reliable. He reliable. Like, he like the, the Lou Gehrig of, of basketball. Like, you know, like, what to expect from Clay Thompson. Like, he will, I feel like he will step up tonight. I feel like he will get 30 or come close to 30. And I feel like he, he's, he's going to play a good defense. So, I expect the Warriors to win tonight. You know, it, it, it hurts my heart to say that because I don't want them to win. But... I just can't see them going down 2-0 in this series. Um, if they go down 2-0, that would be crazy. And, like, I, I never seen Steve Curry and these Warriors be, be down 2-0 in the series. You know, I never saw them be down two games in any series under Steve Curry. So, to see that for the first time in the NBA Finals, it would, it would shock me. It definitely would shock me. Uh, will I be pleasantly surprised if the Toronto Raptors win tonight? Yeah, I definitely will. Uh, I'm not going to lie to you. I hope they win. But, like I said, I feel like the game plan tonight will be let Kawhi get his and shut down everybody else. And I don't feel like it's that hard to do. You know, I feel like teams show that it's successful when they were able to do that. Like the Sixers, when they was playing the Raptors like that, they went up 2-1 on the Raptors. When the Magic did that in game one against Toronto, they went up 1-0. When the Bucks did that, they went up 2 on the series. So that's just things to, you know, keep an eye on. And that's my reason why I feel like the Warriors are going to even the series tonight at one game apiece. But like I said, hopefully I'm wrong. You know, I'm not trying to be a fan or a bias or, you know, a Skip Bayless of any sort. But like I said, I, Toronto was my preseason pick to go to the finals. I had them playing against the Houston Rockets. You know, I was off on one on one of those picks. But uh, having Toronto, you know, in the finals, I definitely want them to win. But like I said, I just don't see them going up 2-0 on the Warriors. So that's why I'm picking the Warriors. I'm picking the Warriors just off respect. <laughs> and it's really that simple. Respect, and I feel like they're going to have, a, you know, a different game plan this time around. And I don't expect Toronto to reach 115. I don't expect Marcus Gasol to have 20. And I don't expect Danny Green to hit a lot of threes tonight. And I don't expect Fred Van Fleet to put up 15 tonight. I feel like them guys are going to be neutralized tonight to the point where Golden State is going to win. How much I think they'll win by? They probably win by 10 tonight. They might win by 10 tonight, honestly. But, you know, let's just hope. Let's just hope, you know, Toronto can, you know, sneak one by again. So, so yeah, that's my prediction. Uh, I got the Warriors winning tonight. But I, I, I like I love for the Raptors to win. So yeah, uh, like, comment, subscribe. You know, share on all my social media sites. You know, Low Sun Pat. It's not hard to look me up. You know, I appreciate y'all listening to me, and hopefully, I see y'all around for the near future. Peace, love y'all, and see y'all soon.